Hi and welcome to the video section of the WordPress lesson in the Employee to Entrepreneurship course presented by CollegeGradLife.com. I'm Dustin Norman. Now I'm gonna. I hope that you've listened to the audio and opened up your WordPress lesson packet because during this series of videos, I'm gonna refer back to both the audio and the lesson packet. I even have my lesson packet open on the screen as you can see. So please have yours open, and if you don't have either of them, I encourage you to visit collegegradlife.com slash entrepreneur to sign up for our free 90-day email course where we teach you how to become a web entrepreneur. Now, what I'm going to talk about in this video are categories. I alluded to, I alluded to them a little bit earlier um, as I showed you about posts, but I think it's important you understand how to use categories, especially as you start to develop products and put them onto your website. Now, on page 8 of your uh, WordPress pack, you can see that I have what are categories, how are they useful with products. Now, at the black arrow, uh, it's pointing to the left side of the dashboard where you can click on the categories button, and it will open up your categories page. And the red button shows you, uh, the red arrow is pointing to how you can create a new category. Let's say I want to create a category for ties. I'll type in ties. The slug, which is uh, pointed to in the yellow, that is where, uh, that's what it'll be with your URL. So for me, it'd be dustinrnorman.com backslash ties. That would be the URL or the slug. So I'll type in ties. And it makes it really, really easy. I'm not going to have any parent because it's going to be its own. It's going to be its own special category. And a parent of a category, you think about it. If you have jackets, you might have um, spring jackets or winter jackets. Spring and winter would be uh, children, essentially, of the parent jackets. So that's an easy way for you to think about categories. The only the parent is going to have smaller categories um, and just and just smaller specific categories inside of its own category. So you can add a description if you want. It's not that necessarily important. But once I do that, I click Add Category, which is the purple, which is the purple arrow on page number eight of your WordPress packet. You create it, and now it is over here on the right-hand side, underneath Ties. Now that is really how you create categories. Uh, if you have any questions, remember you can refer back to me uh, through the email Dustin at CollegeGradLife.com, or you can just reply back to the email. Uh, and I just want you to know that if you have watched this WordPress video, but you're not part of our WordPress course, I encourage you to go to collegegradlife.com slash entrepreneur, where you can sign up for our 90-day free email course, which teaches you how to start your own website.